What's up, folks? How we doing? You know, I got to admit, as hard as it is to be a messenger, <clears throat> it gets a little easier when you realize you're dealing with adults. Because as adults, you handle things a lot differently. Obviously, I didn't see anybody running for the hills. I didn't see anybody, uh, you know, quitting their job. I didn't see anybody going crazy and losing their mind. All I saw was positive feedback from positive people who understand that things are happening. And, and, and hey, you know, these things have been talked about for eons and eons. So would you join me? No fear, no panic. It's gonna relax. Whatever's gonna happen's gonna happen. Just for a little confirmation, though, this morning when I woke up, you know, the, the number nine one one was uh, was running around. So that's God trying to point out a little, hey, you know, what I said was what I said. So it is what it is, guys. You know, I'm going to put out a couple of music videos. I'm just going to kick it. I'm just going to take it easy. I'm, you know, I'm in the heart of Los Angeles, California, man. I'm living in ground zero. And like I said, I've already accepted my fate. It's not a big deal. You know, I'm running towards it, not away from it. There's a difference. You know, like I said, I'm dealing with adults. A lot of good people. I'll hold your hand and pass you a fatty. No sense in sweating it. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But I w I'll tell you, I wouldn't change this for the world. And I'll tell you something, guys. Up until a couple of months ago, I didn't have a job working for the Lord. To tell you the truth, I, I went to a basketball game, right? And I went to the bathroom. And they blew the whistle for a substitute. Next thing you know, I was sitting on the bench wearing a jersey, and God was saying, get the hell in there. And I told him right then and there, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. What makes you think I'm playing? You don't have an option. Get the hell in there. So I've been playing the game ever since. Haven't regretted one second of it. I might not have scored a shot, but I'm still in the game. That's all that matters, still in the game. Still here. So I just want to thank all you guys for being adults about it, for not freaking out. It is what it is. I welcome it. I really do. You know what I mean? There's a lot of good people out there. We're going to get to chill together, man. Dark Tower, bro. I got your back. I understand what it's like. Anybody out there who's hanging on the fence, who's unsure, you're trying to save your family, I feel you, man. That's your decision. And, and no one's going to shit on you or anybody for any decision like that. I got your back. You know what I mean? Why not throw some shouts while I can remember? Mike O'Neill, Mark Paris, uh, WJC, WJC. I don't know how to say it. You know what I mean? It seems like Wick Wick, but I don't know how to say it. Um, Jennifer Kramer, Mike O'Neill, Fabo, uh, Mika, Pam Corba, Pam uh, Zupo, uh, Blue Star got Great Bay, we got Ryan Myers kicking up fucking dust in Texas, bro. I got your back. Listen, people, if I listened to rock and roll music, would you unsubscribe because you thought I, li I liked the devil just because I listened to rock and roll music, even if it was heavy metal? Just get one thing straight. My heart and soul is with God. The music that I listen to doesn't influence me because I know it's only entertainment. Okay, I don't let the lyrics entertain me into fucking cutting my wrist and killing myself. So, if someone listens to music, don't unsubscribe them. You know what I mean? Unless it says, you know, I'm the devil and you should all kill each other. Because even I don't listen to shit that would say I'm the devil and want y'all kill each other. But anyway, there's a lot of great people. I'm throwing some holler, so set the fuck back. Let's see now. Jennifer Kramer, Caddy, um, Caddy, Carrie, um, the, Sherry Malone, Karen Spurgeon, uh, Shaner. Oh my God, Art, Artie in Canada, Buds and Blooms. Oh my goodness, <laughs> there's so many great people. Um, all the new people, uh, Angela Cumis and uh, um, Judith and uh, Miss Burkett. There's just so many beautiful people. Hummingbird, uh, Alyssa, I want to say Hannigan, all the beautiful people who help each other out. This is a family, man. Not some cult, not some clique. 
It's, you know, how people who love God treat each other. And that's what I believe we have. These people who love God, people who treat each other right. So, hey, do me a favor. Finish this value with me and join me in the Lord's Prayer. And all we can do is hold each other's hand and relax and chill. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. All right. Our Father, who art in heaven, now will be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Won't you give us this day, dear Lord, our daily bread? And forgive us for our trespasses, Lord, because we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, dear Lord, but deliver us from evil. For thine truly is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever and ever. And like I said, folks, if you don't believe in the Lord, I believe in him for all of us. I know why I'm here. I know what my job is and what I'm supposed to do. And I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to run headlong right into the fire. Whatever that may be, I accept my fate wholeheartedly. I accept my fate. That's why I'm here. You know, I understand it. I accept it. I used to worry to let go. Letting go is not easy. And I'll tell you, it's the hardest thing. I just jumped in the back seat and said, God, you take the wheel. I don't care where it goes. I don't care if you crash the fucking car. I really don't care. You got the wheel from now on. That's it. You steer it. I'll just go wherever it goes. That was the hardest part, but it was the best thing. Believe it or not, that's when he said, substitute. Fucking pies. You're in the game. And I said, but I didn't even know I was playing. And that's how God works. Every one of you is a messenger. Every one of you is a messenger. You just don't know it. Every time you message back to me about God, you're a fucking messenger. Yes, you are. Every time you talk about God, you're a messenger. And that's the kind of thing I like. That's, I love you guys. You drive me fucking crazy. I love you in a good way. Like I said, so many people, Irish Kilo, um, God, Tattoo Nancy, and uh, Michelle, Michelle, love you abundantly. And uh, like I said, um, Reiki, Miss Lynx, got you, girl. All you beautiful people, there's a ton of women, forgive me. Blanket party love is all I can say. Blanket party love for all you guys. So um, nobody's killing themselves, nobody's going crazy. Get some batteries for the three days. All right, that's going to be the biggest test of your faith is a sackcloth and ashes. Those three days in the darkness, will you lose your faith? I don't think so. Anybody who already has that faith, you're already set. Your children are all set. You are all set. If your family doesn't wish to go that way, it's not your fault. You will be all set. Okay? I love you. I love God even more. Remember that, all right? Peace out. Love you, people. Thanks for joining me. 420. Got no time for anger. Got just a lot of time for love and holding your hand. All right? Peace out. I love you guys. Wow.